How's it going guys? I'm Shifty Cow, and in today's video we're going to be talking about everything we know about Tom Clancy's The Division. So there's been a lot of secrecy on this game, and it is very hyped up, but there's just been so little information given to us by Ubisoft that a lot of it is just left to speculation, and even the stuff that is correct and people are just guessing, or information that's leaked from people who have played the alpha, is pretty much being taken down because there's an NDA or non-disclosure agreement between anyone who's played it and the developers, so there's really just not a lot of information on this game and I kind of wanted to just make this video to recap everything we know. So first of all, I'm not going to have any trailers or gameplay that's been leaked in this video just because I don't want it to be taken down by chance and so hopefully you guys do enjoy Battlefield 4 and some Rainbow Six Siege gameplay. But anyways guys, let's hop right into the information. So first of all, the game is scheduled to release on March 8th which is about two months away from right now and they're planning on having a beta sometime in January. A lot of people are guessing either the 16th which is in a couple of days or more likely on the 29th which is going to be at the end of the month and with the beta date being so close to the actual release date chances are that they've already printed out the physical copies and those are either in stores or being sent to stores and distributed and so chances are that everything that they learned from the beta is either going to be transferred over online or it's going to be part of the first initial patch for the game so that's not really something that I worry about too much but for people who are running low on hard drive space or something like that that's just something to keep in mind so as for the actual beta we really don't know all the information other than the fact that first of all it's probably not going to carry over in terms of stats because it is a closed beta and also it's not going to be the entire game and it's only going to be a portion of it so that way you can't just go through and grind out the entire game. So for the beta, it is going to be a closed beta and you can go and register on their website or you can guarantee yourself a slot by just pre-ordering the game and that also allows you to refer a couple of friends so that they can get access to the beta and you can play with them. So if you do want to pre-order it and you're really interested in it, I would go ahead and check that out. But if you guys are interested and want to see how it actually plays out, be sure to subscribe as we're definitely going to be posting some videos on it when the actual beta is released. Now, going back to gameplay, one of the things I've heard talked about a lot on Reddit and YouTube and really just forums in general is how it's going to work between the single player, co-op, and the multiplayer experience based on how the storyline goes, if there is a very detailed story, or if it's just based on doing certain missions, or how the loot and leveling and how that's all going to carry over. So from my understanding, it's going to be pretty basic and it's going to tie all your information, your unlocks, your gear, gadgets, weapons, all that type of stuff is going to be tied to your personal account. So every time you hop online or you join a server with your friend, it's going to bring all your gadgets with you that you can use for that certain mission or that certain area or whatever you're doing. And that's just going to allow you to hop very easily between your single player, co-op, and multiplayer experience. So what I've heard from people who have actually talked about playing the game, it's a very easy process of joining a friend or inviting a friend to your game, and that's going to be a very key part of playing this game. They've really shown off that teamwork is a huge part of this game. It's going to be pretty hard to play by yourself, especially in areas like the Dark Zone where it's PvP, and also being able to clear certain areas like, you know, hospitals or technical areas where you need to build things or loot things. It's just going to be a lot easier to play with friends and that's kind of a good thing in my opinion. So moving on to the next thing, loot. A lot of people have been talking about how you can lose loot, how you can gain it, are you going to be able to steal it from other players, and here is my basic understanding from reading a whole bunch of things from people who have played the alpha. What it sounds like is just about all of the loot that you get from other people or AI, NPCs, stores, things like that, that's all going to be saved to you and it sounds like it's going to be permanent. I'm not entirely sure on this but it sounds like you can't lose your loot once you've actually gained it but the one area that you can lose loot is the dark zone so you can't actually lose what you go in with so say i decide to go into the dark zone and i got like a brand new scar h or whatever gun so say i have a new gun and i bring that into the dark zone if someone kills me it's not going to let them take it from me so i'm still going to keep all my loot that i entered in with but anything you did pick up along the way is going to be dropped and so people are going to be able to pick that up extract it and take it as their own. So really, the way that you're going to get stuff out of the dark zone, which is called contaminated loot because you can't use it until it's extracted, is you're going to have to fire off a flare, it's going to call in a helicopter, and you're going to have to fend off enemies because obviously you just shot a flare gun. People are going to be coming everywhere because they know you're extracting. You're going to have to fend off enemies for about 90 seconds or so. They might adjust that timer later. And then once you actually do get extracted by the helicopter, all the loot that you got from the dark zone is going to be yours forever, or at least that's what it sounds like right now. 
So those are some of the biggest things that people have been talking about in Tom Clancy's The Division, and we're really just going to have to wait until the beta comes up so we can actually play it, get to try out some different things with the Dark Zone, how the PvP works, and really just see if this game is worth the $60. So if you guys did enjoy this video and you are excited for The Division, be sure to smack that like button down below, and if you're not subscribed already, be sure to do that. We're going to have some beta footage up as soon as it comes out, and hopefully you guys do enjoy our other content that we put out. But uh, anyways guys, that's pretty much it for this this video so until next time guys stay buttery